time to look back at the tape with our good buddy Eric Wood. E. The Bills came out and absolutely dominated the Dallas Cowboys on both sides of the ball. What was the most impressive thing you saw? Well, this was the best I've ever seen the Bills run the ball under Sean McDermott. James Cook had an incredible all-around game. He finished with 179 yards on the ground on 25 carries. That's 7.2 yards per carry. Not to mention he had two big catches, one for a touchdown. Overall, I love the way they stayed committed to the run, and the Cowboys never really had a pulse. Hats off to Sean McDermott for the way his defense completely shut down the best offense in the league. That felt like the perfect game by the Bills. Well, we got to start off with James Cook. He got his big day going through the air first, and it started with a short pass that he took for 24 yards. What did you see here? Yeah, here the Bills are going to motion to a two-by-two two set with Sherfield, and Josh is looking down the field, nothing he likes, and he's going to take the check down to James Cook, and he's just running a little out route. He starts right up the middle of the field, and as he breaks out, Josh hits him in stride. He's been hitting him perfectly in stride lately, allowing him to make some room to run after the catch there. He makes it the defender miss, able to get up the field for the big gain. And a little later, James caught an 18-yard touchdown. This was his second straight game with a receiving touchdown. This is a nice wrinkle by Joe Brady. So throughout this game, they were flipping James Cook because a lot of times they wanted to run right at Marquise Bell, their 205-pound linebacker. Well, here, they understand the Cowboys are a man-to-man -man defense. They run as much man-to-man -man as anyone in the league. So they flip him here so they can get him on the bigger linebacker. And so they get him matched up right here on number 33. And Josh is going to watch this one develop. And really, he's watching Micah Parsons at the start because he knows he's got to let this one develop. And he hits James Cook on a corner out, a deep out. And this linebacker never had a chance running with James Cook. And then just before halftime, Cook rushed it down to the goal line to set up an easy touchdown for Josh. What did you see here? So this is a duo concept used by the Bills. You're going to have double teams by the right guard, right tackle, and then center and left guard. Dawson Knox does a nice job at the point of attack here. And Ty Johnson, they used more 21 personnel with two running backs in the game than I've seen the Bills utilize this season. He has a nice block as well. And really, when you have a run this big, everybody's getting blocks. Josh Allen even draws eyes of the defender here. But Deion Dawkins, I mean, rarely in this league do you have a 20-yard drive on a defender to a pancake? I mean, these guys are professionals out here, and he gets this guy completely off balance, finishes him on the back of his head, and Deion Dawkins is playing great football right now. Well, let's fast forward to the fourth quarter, and Cook ripped off another long run, this one for 17 yards. The Bills often will run this tackle trap play with Deion Dawkins and they'll run it to the right. Here they run it back to the left. And so James Cook starts on the left side of Josh. Oftentimes you'll be running it towards the right when you do that. So this is a change up. Well, as Micah Parsons collapses on this play, Spencer Brown does a nice job of just stiff arming him, understanding that James Cook is gonna beat him to the edge. And Josh Allen goes out there, shows a little presence as well. But this is a really nice pull by Spencer Brown and understanding that he doesn't necessarily have to stick to Micah Parsons, which allows him to get another defender on the play and allows for the big run. A few plays later, Cook had his longest run of the game. This one went for 24 yards and the touchdown. Here's that same tackle trap play. And with the defender here setting the edge, Dion's going to trap him instead of Micah Parson collapsing and Spencer Brown going around him. When that defender comes down the edge, now you have to trap him out. That gives James Cook the read to then hit it up inside of the hole. And this one again, it's blocked all the way well around. There's a great double team by Osiris Torrance and Spencer Brown on the front side. Mitch Morris gets a nice block as well. And these big boys up front, they really let this Dallas defense have it yesterday. Great stuff as always. Thanks for this, Eric. We'll catch up with you next week after the game in L.A. Travel safe. Yep, looking forward to it, Steve.